Hello. It is January 1st, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a new year. It's 2022. Welcome to it. And thank you for joining me for a new crossword solve in this new year. I was just, just before I started recording, I decided to uh, investigate how many of these I've done in 2021. And it looks like I recorded 191 videos, at least on the public channel, not counting the um, uh, the Patreon campaign, and a handful, so a handful more on Patreon, a um, couple dozen, I guess, probably, and did this over the course of 180 days in 2021, so about the second half of the year. And um, I almost didn't realize it had, been, it had been that long. So we're heading into a new year, and I'm very glad you're joining me here on the channel for it. And uh, today I would like to particularly thank Resmi, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. They're patri- um, benefactors, specifically of the Patreon campaign, the Daily Self Patreon campaign, which is how I, um, it's what helps me make this series a sustainable part of my daily work. So thank you to the three of them, but also thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign currently or in the past. Uh, I very much appreciate it. And if you'd like to join their ranks, you can find information at patreon.com slash daily solve. And there you can get access to all of those, um, however many uh, bonus video solves I've done over the past, well, not quite six months, but the past several months, as long as the Patreon has been running. And I've just put up another video. I put up my solve of the um, uh New York, well, what was at the time I did it, the most recent New York Times acrostic puzzle. It looks like there's already another one up on there. So if you'd like to see me solve more acrostic puzzles for the Patreon, do let me know. Any requests or uh, recommendations for Patreon bonus solves are welcome. But if you'd like to see me solve a New York Times acrostic, that's on the Patreon feed right now. I was sort of new to the acrostic format. So part of the part of it was me coming to grips with how it works. It's sort of like a crossword, but different in some pretty important and fundamental ways. So anyway, I won't keep going on about that, but that's up there if you're interested, as lo- as well as the um, previous week of speed solves, and I still need to do another week of mini puzzle speed solves. Anyway, let's let's move on to yesterday's puzzle and some, some comments left about those clues. Uh, let's see. So Jake McGuffey points out that Oompapa, which was in the puzzle clued as onomatopoeic for a waltz, in other words, waltz time, three beats, oom-pa-pa, oom-pa-pa, is also the title of a waltz from the musical Oliver. So there is a very direct relationship between that particular bit of onomatopoeia and the waltz uh, time, I suppose, waltz format. Um, So that was good to know. I did not know that. I've never actually seen Oliver, so um, thank you. Jake. And Chaz Maru says, Happy New Year, everybody, and wishing you all a great 2022, possibly filled with palindromes. I suspect the gram ending of ambigram threw Chris off on his search for the right word. That's exactly right. I kept trying to think of the, well, I kept trying to think of the word palindromes, but in my mind, I was trying to think of what you would, what you would prefix to the gram ending and of course, the word palindrome does not end with gram, so I was uh, fruitless in my search. And speaking of ambigrams, Remy points out that some ambigrams are unchanged when flipped, but some could morph into a different word, usually linked to one another, like love turning into hate when flipped, or true and false, that sort of thing. And yes, that's true. I, I don't think I mentioned that, but that's been pointed out actually in the past when ambigrams have come up in the crossword. And Kathy Swope explains that Something that is still sticky retains some residual glueiness or tack, which is why they would be tacky, which is what showed up in the puzzle yesterday. Contact cement instructions often are apply and wait X minutes till tacky. And um, apparently Kathy was also couldn't remember palindrome during that moment. So she shared my, uh, my inability to bring that to mind. And uh, Robert Stevenson also pointed out that bit about tackiness. 
So I think that's all I have. Thank you to everybody, as always, for the corrections and information. I always appreciate it. So let's get on to today's puzzle. This is, of course, the first crossword puzzle of the year. The crossword for Saturday, January 1st, 2022. It was constructed by Peter Wentz, who I think is a fairly uh, prolific and accomplished New York Times constructor, and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It's a Saturday puzzle, so it will be themeless. It'll be a, a themeless puzzle and very possibly a particularly difficult grid because that's just what we get on Saturdays. So are we ready to get started? I would say, okay. First person. And first, I mean, it could be a winner, someone who gets first place. Not sure. Backups. I don't know. It could be backups as in a, um, a safeguard, something you could back up information. Um, you could back, you could, uh, perform a backup in a vehicle. I don't know, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me. First name, first name in daytime talk. I don't know <laughs> the wrong person to ask about this. Red guards attire. Red guards. Which ones are the red guards? Is that the Red Army? Soviet Red Army? Or is it the Swiss Guard for the Pope? I don't remember who the Red Guard specifically is. Like to be or not to be? Like to be or not to be? Iambic? It's written in iambic pentameter. I'm not sure if that's what that's getting at. Six down, oil blank. Five down, some major productions. It could be epics, major film production. I don't want to hear any excuses. Not sure. Can't eat another bite. I am so stuffed now. Could be I am something. Mopey Teen's Lament. Oh boy, I don't know. It feels though there could be plenty of things a Mopey Teen might lament. What about this? First person. Don't know. Could be ER still at the end. Oil something. Smart device feature. Smart device feature. Boy, I don't know. Oh, voice control? No. Voice recognition, voice commands. What would fit? Does V do anything here? Mopey Teams Lament. I have no something. I have no life. I don't know. Sort of just <laughs> taking a wild guess here. Anti-trafficking organization. Could be DEA if it were drug trafficking. That wouldn't, uh, that would make the O incorrect. Start of many a Google search. Yeah, I don't think this is this. Um could be how or why. Anti-trafficking organization. What if that were DEA? What is this? Can't eat another bite. I am... I don't know about voice. Icebreakers alternative. And Icebreakers is capitalized, so it's a brand name. Is that a, a mint, maybe? Is it? Could it be certs, a mint brand? I don't want to hear any excuses. And feverishly tries to open. Claws at? Wonder if DEA is wrong. That's so not the case. Could be liar. Um, this is a very, <laughs> this is a very, um, I don't know, what do I say? How do I put this? It's sort of a, a reactive puzzle, at least the way that I'm solving it, sort of going back and forth and putting things in and taking them out. Claws at, maybe, it previously tries to open. Start of many Google search. Well, that could be why. That, that actually works. Anti-trafficking organization. Is it human trafficking? What organization is that? I am... Something in here looks wrong. Brand with an eye comfort line. No idea. Is that in five 
letters starting with an S. It could be a mattress brand like Serta or Sealy. I don't know if I, I'm not familiar with iComfort. Um, tanks and such it could be armor. Is it an armored tank division? Uh, oh, I hate it here is the Mopey Teens lament. Sorry. Okay. So it's, it's definitely not voice recognition. And that was, that was the one that was the voice in terms of these crosses with the thing that was starting to look the least plausible. Although actually this doesn't look plausible at all. Certs and liar. Even though, interestingly, they both they both fit with I hate it here. Interesting. Oh, touch. Smart device teaster is touch screen. There we go. Okay, so that works. So now which... I don't want to hear any excuses. So if we delete both of these, what now seems more likely? Oh, no buts. I don't want to hear any excuses. No buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. So that is certs. Oh, so that's so not the case. Maybe it's not liar, but rather lies. So sort of similar sentiment. Uh, can't eat another bite. I am, it's probably not correct based on these, this double I, which does happen in the crossword a lot now, thanks to the Nintendo Wii video game console, but that's not what this is. Um, can't eat another bite. First name in daytime talk. I'm not sure. What about this? Oil blank. That dash makes me wonder if it's a brand name. Um, but I'm not sure. First person. It could be winner, actually. Does that help here? Oh, no more for me. Ah, so start of many Google searches. Not why, but who. That actually does seem more likely anyway. No more for me. Okay. All right. So this is all coming together. Is this Whoopi Goldberg? First name in daytime talk. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, and I don't know that I've ever looked at this... Setting of the Robert Graves memoir, Goodbye to All That, in brief, World War One. Okay, so that's Whoopi, who must have a talk show. Oil rich, ah, an oil rich country. Okay, fair enough. Um, or an oil rich region or area, I suppose. Some major productions, epics, no buts. I think we got everything else. All right, that came together. That was, <laughs> that was very interesting. That was very fun. That was sort of a, a crunchy solve right there. I really had to do a lot of give and take. Brand with an eye comfort line. Okay, so I think my suspicion was correct, and this is probably Serta, which is a mattress brand. A Titan. Um, Titan. Why do I not see what that is? That's strange. Beyond what's needed. Too much, I suppose. As in, uh, too much to eat. No more for me. Coin featuring Lady Liberty and a bald eagle. coin. I'm actually not sure, weirdly enough. Um, what about this? They're full of twists and turns. Oh, snake something? Sna uh, I'm not sure. Where scenes on Tatooine were filmed for Star Wars? I don't know. I feel as if that's something I've read or seen somewhere at some point, but I cannot remember. That's frustrating. Hopefully it's easy enough to get with some crosses. I mean, it'll be a desert, I suppose, or it could be the country in which the desert is located. Pastry that gets pulled apart. Uh, croissant or... Press K while on YouTube. I don't know. I've never, I don't know that I've ever used keyboard shortcuts for YouTube, except for spacebar to pause, I suppose. Um, press K while on YouTube. Wow. Boy, as someone who, <laughs> as someone who uploads a video to YouTube at least once every single day, you'd think I would know more about YouTube, but maybe I don't. Press K while on YouTube. Um, I have no idea. All the things I can think of, like mute or rewind or fast forward, none of them fit in five letters with an E in the penultimate position. Jordan is found on one, notably. A shoe? Michael Jordan on the... Michael Jordan shoes? Air Jordans? Backups. Not sure. 
yoga retreat locales. Um, boy, I'm really, really hitting a wall, aren't I? Central point. The nub of an, of an idea leading to diversity. It could be biodiversity in three letters anyway. Home for a pharaoh. What is this? Backups. NB does not look great. Baking aisle mascot. And red guards attire. Suit? I'm pretty sure at least something is wrong in these entered answers, but I'm not sure what yet. Let's keep looking. Why can't I think of yoga retreat locales? Aftermath. Engagement calendar info abbreviation. I don't know. An appointment, I suppose. Um, this probably ends with S. Skyler of the Pitch Perfect films. I have no idea. <laughs> I've heard that name, but I don't know anything about it. Cookout dish. Um, potluck something or... I guess it depends if it means general category for such a dish or a particular name of one dish. Big outdoor June event. Oh, is this a potluck thing? I don't know. Big outdoor June event. Length of a president's veto window. Oh, um, 10 days maybe? That sort of sounds right. When a, when a president can veto a bill that's been passed by Congress. Anything to add? Bags one might have when tired, question mark. Bags one might have when tired. Bags under one's eyes? What is the pun here? Bags one might have when tired. Oh, tea bags? You might have some... I see. So the question mark indicates pun or wordplay of some kind. So you see bags one might have when tired, and you think bags under your eyes. That's the most obvious meaning. But the question mark says we should read this in a different way. So in this case, I think it means we're looking for a different kind of bag. In this case, one that's caffeinated to um, help fight off your fatigue, which I probably should I probably should have taken advantage of a tea bag before starting this because we did stay up for uh, New Year's last night and I am quite tired. <laughs> anyway, cookout dish. Um, potato salad. There we go. That looks right. Big outdoor June. Oh, is this Pride um, uh, Pride March or Pride Parade? There we go. Okay, that all looks great. Got some big long answers. That's very helpful. Assembly at a camporee, perhaps. Oh, a s'more. You could assemble a s'more. This is, I think, a, pr a fairly specific to the United States, um, or at least North America. But it's a, it's a. Um, sandwich, I guess, made out of uh, two layers of graham crackers surrounding um, a bar of chocolate and a marshmallow that has been toasted over a fire. And so the whole thing sort of smushes together. And Costco rival familiarly. Um, I think Sam's Club. So Costco is a one of those big box discount, uh, like wholesale sort of price membership stores. And Sam's Club is another one of those. Line just before a comma. Line just before a comma. Not sure. Leperine creatures. This must be an adjective that refers to a particular kind of animal like leonine with lions. But it's not, what is it, a leopard? I mean, obviously not in this, this number of letters. Still in the box, say... New, I suppose, although NM doesn't look very likely there, so maybe not. All right, let's look at some of our, what should be low-hanging fruit. Yes, got it is copy. You'd say copy, got that on a radio. Phone line, question mark. And here we have Bartolome de las Blanc, social reformer during Spain's colonial era. Um, Rosas, maybe? probably has an O here, I'm guessing. Phone line. So it could be something you say on the phone, a line, something you say out loud. 
And it's, it's not nothing to do with copy, certainly, because we've just used that here. Uh, phone line. I suppose it could be a line of phones, a um, by which I mean a, a, a model of, of phone, I suppose. I'm not sure. What is this? Co oh, right. This is that coin featuring Liber Liber Lady Liberty and a bald eagle. I assume this is an unusual coin. I assume that it's, it's not an obvious one. Oh, although it probably ends in dollar. Nope. What am I doing? That was extremely incorrect. Um, why do I not see what this is? That's infuriating. <laughs> here we have phone line again. And here we have major production. Oh, another major, major production. An opus, perhaps? Something impressive that one has created. Here we have a colonnade site, a pillar. Could have a colonnade of, of pillars. And like diamonds. Oh, red. A red suit of cards, of course. Sorry, it took me a moment there. Rumpled, say, could be unmade. An unmade bed could be rumpled. Oh, the phone line is call me. There we go. And like some fruits and tennis players, they're seated. Fruits are largely seated. And tennis players could be seated in a tournament, I suppose. So a singer with the 1962 album, Sentimentally Yours. This must be Klein. Patsy Klein, I would think. I can't think of what else, many other options that would fit in in this particular area. And then that gives us Bartolome de las Casas, social reformer during Spain's colonial era. So that's good to know. I should look that person up. Okay, um, here we have singing duet. And there's a question mark, so some kind of pun. So I wonder if this is Ings, I-N-G-S? Because there are two of them in the word singing? It could also be any individual letter that's present th uh, twice in the word singing, like G or N or I. G would be the only one I could imagine plausibly spelling in this. But because there are three letters that do that, I wonder if ing is more likely because it sort of composes all of the duets that are in there. Not sure. I mean, it might be. It might be none of these. It might be a, actually. You know what? It probably is a different thing because this SD doesn't look very good. Oh, this might end in bread. Just because of that D, and it's a pastry that gets pulled apart. It's possible, although you wouldn't really call a pastry a bread, would you? What is this line just before a comma? Here we have uh, leperine creatures and botched. Could end in ED. Still in the box. Say. I don't know. I mean, bread does not seem like it is obviously correct. I mean, it might be, but not necessarily clearly. Part of a forecast without clouds. Well, that you could have sun. You could be part of the word sun. I mean, aces have low ones for short. Aces have low ones for short. So this will be something abbreviated be an abbreviation or an acronym or something. Um, oh, blank Vegas. It's in quote marks, so it's probably the name of something. Is it CSI Vegas? Surely that would be called CSI Las Vegas. What would this be? I don't know. Here we have one of a piano trio. So here we have another. We had a singing. What was that other one? Singing duet, piano trio. This doesn't have the question mark, but I assume it is something sort of punny. And here we have blank oxygene, hydrogen peroxide in French. Oh, wow. Uh, I have no idea. Um, wow, that's an interest. That sort of feels like sort of a deep cut relative to the typical kind of French language knowledge that goes on in the crossword. Yeah, sure. Titan. Boy, why do I not see what Titan is? That's annoying. Um, let's see. What else do we... Where else can we look? Okay. Comic strip with the 1998 collection, I Am Woman, Hear Me Snore. I wonder if there's any chance this is Kathy comic. That seems like the... I, I mean, I have no clue about this particular book title, but that seems 
like the kind of comic strip that would have had a book of that title. Does that help here at all? Titan. A czar? I don't quite understand how that fits exactly. Like you would, if you're a sort of titan of your field, a czar of your, I don't know. I mean, in governmental situations, sometimes you'll get, I think usually non-elected officials appointed to be the czar of some policy area. It doesn't necessarily correspond to titan. I wonder what that's getting at, but I just don't know what else fits there. Line just before a comma. Something ism. Adolf, who invented him. Oh, Adolf Sax invented the saxophone. So maybe this isn't Z. Maybe this isn't Czar. What on earth would fit before an X? That is bizarre. But this is definitely Adolf Sachs. I mean, I'm, I'm certain about that. Foders listing. Foders is what a, tra they're travel guides. They might they might uh, list sites, um, sites to see on a, on a trip to a particular city. They're full of twists and turns. And where scenes on Tatooine were filled for Star Wars, filmed for Star Wars, I should say. Now, the first thing I wanted to say when I saw yoga retreat locales was ashrams, but the end didn't fit it. So I thought that must have been wrong. So I didn't say it. But now that I have AMS here, is there something else this could be? Touch. Jordan is found on one. All right. What if I do put an ashrams here? Touch sensor. Jordan is found on one, notably. Jordan. Is it Jordan the country? What is the Jordan? Backups. If it ends in S. Oh, plan B's, your backup plan. Which <laughs> you could maybe annoyingly try and, annoyingly, but maybe grammatically, justifiably try and claim maybe should be pronounced plans B because the B is sort of a, a descriptive modifier of plan rather than a noun unto itself. I don't know. Um, red guards attire. That might still be suit actually. Oh, is it red guard? Is it a Mao suit? that work? Oh, the Jordan is found on one could be a logo. Press K while on YouTube. Oh, uh, I don't know, maybe not. Wait, is K also pause? I said the only, <laughs> I said the only um, keyboard shortcut I'm familiar with on YouTube is spacebar to pause, but maybe you can also press K to pause. That would fit. Baking Isle mascot. Oh, Doughboy, the Pillsbury Doughboy, and a home for a pharaoh is a sty. I guess a pig sty, and pastry that gets pulled apart. Monkey bread, and this would be wake. As in, you leave a trail of destruction in your wake in the aftermath the, from um, you know, like the wake of a ship, for, um, presumably is a derivation of that metaphor. So monkey bread, that sort of rings a bell, but, I'm, but I couldn't tell you what it is offhand. Death Valley, Tatooine must have been, I actually don't think I did know that. That doesn't sound familiar, but, um, but it's plausible. So uh, looks right. What is this? <laughs> 
going on here? I'm sort of just assuming that I'm putting this stuff in correctly, but it, I mean, I have, it's getting highly crossed in ways that don't seem like these could be mistakes anymore. That would have to be an extraordinary coincidence. So something must be going on here. They're full of twists and turns, switchbacks, like on a hiking trail, for instance. I just want to solve as much as I can so I can, because this I don't understand. Le leperine creatures, oh, hairs perhaps? And still in the box. Botched. Oh, why did I put bled? Oh, because I thought it was a past tense and therefore it'd be ED. That's blue. And that makes steel in the box new. Ah, okay. That's Well, that was the most obvious. What is, oh, it's a keyboard string. Sorry, I just glanced down at my keyboard. It's z line just before a comma is Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. And then the comma, that's unbelievable. I wonder if anyone has gotten that without, well, I wonder what the fewest number of crosses someone's gotten, I guess I should say, before intuiting that answer. Maybe maybe you did. Maybe you intuited that with many few many fewer crosses than I did. That's amazing. So I was right about Czar, actually, which I still find odd. I'm curious if someone has a more obvious way of explaining how a Czar is a Titan. I mean, a Czar obviously historically was... Uh, Russian, pre-revolutionary Russian leader, uh, I guess, from what I'm told, more appropriately spelled T-S-A-R. But like I said, it's often used in a sort of colloquial sense for various kinds of political appointees. But I don't think of it being used metaphorically to signify that someone is, you know, a preeminent figure or something, which is what how Titan would be metaphorically used. Anyway, I might just, there might be a sense of that word that I'm not familiar with. That can happen. Anyway, singing duet. Ah, la la or fa la. Um, sort of, I don't know, a couple, a, a couplet of sung syllables, maybe? Coin feature. I still don't know what this is. Is too much correct? Beyond what's needed. It seems right. Is this Kentucky? Part of a forecast without clouds. No, that, that wouldn't fit anyway. Um, all right. Well, that was a whole bunch of progress, but now things are slightly slowing down. Death Valley switchbacks. Pirates in old slang. Pirates in old slang. Yeah, sure. Something that, okay. One of a piano trio. Oh, here we have this again, right? What is this? One of a piano trio. Not actually sure. And then here we have that Vegas thing again. This must be the name of a, sort of my suspicion is a television program, but I don't actually know. Part of a forecast without clouds. I feel as though several of these things must be much more straightforward than I'm making them, but I'm just not sure how. Just, I feel as though too much must be wrong. What else would it be? Oh, what is this? Intersections requiring a turn. Oh, T's, T intersect. Oh, too much is definitely wrong, and I didn't even ever check this cross. Always check the crosses. <laughs> oh, I don't have the mug with me. Um, well, there is the mug you can get if if you're if you back the Patreon at the benefactor level, and it says let's check the crosses on it, and that's really what I should not not forget to do. Intersections requiring a turn would be T intersection T's. So here we go. Beyond what's needed, tanks and such. That must be armor. That looks right. Brand with an eye comfort line, seat. So without that being an M, peace dollar? Aces have low ones for short. Is this some kind of, um, is this ELOs maybe? Like, no, an, no, a high ELO is better. This must be some kind of sports statistic or something. Um singing duet. It's got to be 
la la. I mean, it could be fa la, as in from um, fa la 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 la, you know, in the Christmas song, but I think that would be too arbitrary and specific. Goes on. Oh, it could be simply lasts. I mean, that would be the most straightforward answer there. And then, so this is probably P star. I actually don't know what that is offhand. Aces have low ones. I'm not sure. Oh, clear sky, forecast without clouds. All right, it's all coming together finally. Um, oh, beyond what's needed to spare. So we've got, we have uh, crosses to spare beyond what's needed now. Wasn't the case a minute or so ago, but now we seem to have them to spare. So maybe this is CSI Vegas. I would have assumed it to say Las Vegas, but I'm not going to put it in just yet. Oh, pirates and old slang could be C rats. That looks good. Aces have low ones for short. So it must be ERAs. Is that earned run average or something? I've heard that phrase before from baseball. I don't know if that's what's being referred to here, but maybe. Oh, is this O maybe as in French for water? That was my first guess, simply because it seemed plausible enough. Oxygenated water, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it, it's one of the reasons that was one of my guesses is because that is a sort of relatively you know, beginner level French word. So it seemed like a plausible fill. I would have been surprised if there were a very obscure French word uh, required. Oh, so yeah, sure as I guess. There we go. This is all coming together. And one of a, oh, one of a piano tree is leg. Boy, I probably never would have gotten that without the crosses, but three legs on at least not all pianos, not a stand-up piano, but a grand piano could have three legs or a baby grand. And then this is CSI Vegas after all. I'm quite surprised at that, to be honest with you. And there it is. There's the Saturday puzzle. And I really enjoyed that. That was a that was the most um uh I don't know how how I would put it exactly, but the most um that crossword pushed back more than more than any crossword, any at least any New York Times crossword I can remember solving recently. It took a lot of active solving, I guess, uh, as opposed to um sort of just going through and putting answers in smoothly and moving on, and then even even getting stuck or moving on. In this case, there was a lot of revision. Uh, the crossword was constantly <laughs> pushing and pulling, and I was constantly changing things and revising and putting things back in. It was very interesting. And I suppose that's because the way it was clued allowed for some degree of ambiguity frequently, although there were also cases where I just didn't pay very close attention, such as filling in an this as T-E-E-O and simply not noticing or checking. So that was um, entirely my fault. And this thing, <laughs> this thing is very funny. You could imagine this being part of a theme uh, conceivably. I mean, it's 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 a good central answer in the grid. I mean, it, it's got a, a kind of pride of place of being right in the middle of the puzzle because it is the strange answer. I mean, this is obviously, if this were a themed puzzle, this would this would have some some importance to it, and perhaps there would be other strings of keyboard of of letters on the keyboard elsewhere in the puzzle, like QWERTY and you know whatever else, ASDF that kind of thing. Um, but nope, this is a themeless puzzle, so this is just a one-off, wacky central bit of fill, and it certainly <laughs> offered a lot of resistance to me. And but we got there in the end. Oh, yeah, some of these I never look back at, like. I assume this is Skylar Aston and not Aston Skylar. They sort of both seem plausible, but Skylar Aston of the Pitch Perfect films, I assume. Um, don't know if there's anything else I didn't see. Probably not. I mean, I had to sort of excavate this crossword pretty thoroughly to ultimately get it uh, filled. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. I think we've probably looked at pretty much everything in here. Um, but that was a fun one. That was, I would say, one of definitely one of the more challenging New York Times puzzles I've solved recently. Uh, so let me know how you fared. If you felt the same way, I, I would imagine most would agree this was tougher than um, than your average New York Times, uh, even your average New York Times Saturday. At least I felt that way. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the solve. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do subscribe. It's a new month and a new year, in fact. Let's get let's uh, let's get those subscriptions up, I guess. <laughs> um, and if you do know someone who might want to kick off their 
2022, maybe with a New Year's resolution to start solving or maybe more consistently solve the New York Times crossword, maybe this series would be exactly what they need to help them with that resolution. I don't know if that's the kind of resolution people make, but on the off chance that it is, this series is here to help. And uh, it is a new month. Not, I mean, it's a new year, but it's also a new month, which means that uh, Patreon has ticked over. So if you were waiting for that to happen before you um, checked out the Patreon campaign and maybe uh, pledged a couple of pounds a month or the equivalent in your local currency, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve and see the wealth of bonus videos as well as those, those new ones, such as that New York Times acrostic puzzle that I solved yesterday is up there as well. So uh, do check that out. And um, I suppose that's it. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter as well, at The Daily Solve. And um, I think that's all I have. I will be back tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle, the first Sunday puzzle of 2022. A nice, long, leisurely solve. Uh, should be easier than this one, but will still probably take longer because it's just a huge grid and a themed puzzle at that. So um, I hope you I hope you come back. I hope I hope you will join me for that crossword. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday and happy new year. I wish all the best to you and yours. Take care.